time to make these things look new again. Hi, I'm Brad Osborne with Electron Machine. Today we're going to give you a walkthrough on what we do when we rebuild our isolation valve to factory specs. So I'm here with Tommy, one of our lead uh, machinists. And we, as you saw the truck, the valves come in. We have one of these old valves that's been in the field. Tommy begins by breaking down the bonnet assembly. And so he'll remove all these bolts and we will pull the valve apart. So we got all the old hardware off now. We're going to separate the bonnet from the uh, pipe casting. So, Tommy, what do you do to this section here now? Well, we break it down. We take the packing gland apart, we pull the packing out, wash it down because there's always black liquor in here, and then we uh, glass blast it. This one's obviously been abused, so we straighten out the uh, limit switch mounting bracket and uh, do the same for the body. And so what will you do to the cup on here? Well, it depends on what shape it's in. If it's this cup looks pretty darn nice. We'll probably take a light cut on it because we'll put a new spud in it so we want a fresh female to mate with the male on the uh, spud. So what we'll do is you'll inspect the uh, the sealing surface right here yes. because this internal sealing surface right here will be replaced yes. and we'll show you that in a second. And this one will get inspected and if it needs uh, some clearancing, they will put it on the machine and they will uh, grind the surface down a little bit. Recut, so. recut this angle to match the angle of the brand new spud that's going in. All right, so what's the next step? Clean this up? Yeah, wash it down, uh, glass plastic, get it clean, and uh, get it in the lathe and start pouring on it. All right. So we brought the valve, it's been cleaned up with water, and now we're going to blast it to get any uh, calcium builds up and residue off just so it's clean for when Tommy puts it in the lathe. So we got it in our blast cabinet and we're going to blast this thing now. So the valve's been cleaned. It's ready to have the old spud cut out and we'll have a new one cut in. So now we'll show you the process of cutting the spud out. So we've got it, uh, the valve in the lathe. Now we're going to cut this spud out. So that's a long process. We'll just show you the start and the end of it. fire back up so we finally got the uh, spud piece cut out here are the remaining parts of what was left over after doing all the trimming and the boring we've got our new one that fits into the hole it'll go over to the welding shop and that'll get welded into it after just a little bit more polishing up and cleaning and then so the next place you'll see us is in the welding shop so now that the old spot has been bored out, we've brought it over to the welding shop and our welder Brian is going to weld the new pieces in. So what we have here is we have an already fabricated spud piece. This contains the purge nozzle and it was what the sensing head goes into the isolation valve. We have a fixture so that we can duplicate the precise requirements needed for the alignment of the sensing head. And here's the uh, valve that you saw where we bored it out. So Brian's going to get this all set up on the table and we're going to get it welded. So everything's got set up, we got real nice tight. So once we get it welded, this is going to be basically like a brand new valve when we're done. So Brian's going to weld it up now. All right, so Brian's got her all welded up inside and out. And uh, now it'll take another trip back over to the blast cabinet uh, where we'll be blast it and uh, make it look nice and pretty and fresh again. And then we'll start the uh, final uh, reassembly of the parts. So this is the stem to the old valve, the bonnet. We're pulling the uh, cup out because we need to inspect the uh, shaft to make sure it's straight and they may want to touch up this ceiling surface here to make sure it's okay. So this bonnet is uh, in a disassembly procedure and we'll come back when it's uh, fully done. So we got all the sub-assembly parts back from being cleaned up and reconditioned. We got the pipe assembly 
all welded up and uh, cleaned up. The bonnet's been cleaned up. We ended up putting a new shaft with a new cup on here. Got a cleaned up hand wheel. And now we're going to put all these sub assemblies back into this. And then we will make it back on the valve. And uh, the uh, last step will be to pressure test it. So that's what we're going to do now. So it's just a simple uh, rope, uh, Teflon rope packing that we use to seal the shaft. The bonnet has been assembled with the new parts. Uh, this hand wheel is just temporary. We'll put the fancy one on when we're done. And now we're going to make the uh, bonnet to the valve. So the uh, bonnet has been made to the valve. Now we're going to torque the uh, bolt, the bonnet down. So the valve has been fully assembled. Everything's been torqued down. We've got the spud closed because the next check is pressurized. So we're going to pressurize this with air and uh, we'll make sure that the sealing surfaces are all holding nice and tight and that no, there are no leaks. So we pressurized up to 100 PSI. We'll uh, let it sit for a little while and we'll come back and check it. And if it's still holding air, it'll hold black liquor. So we're back and the uh, valve is still holding air. So Brian will finish the final assembly by putting new limit switches on. He'll put the uh, good hand wall in. We'll put a new check valve in and he'll go through his QC checklist to make sure everything's done. And then it'll go out to our main QC area where the valve will be finalized before shipping. So final assembly on the valve has been completed. We have a factory rebuilt valve that looks basically brand new. It's got its uh, final QC checklist to go over before it goes out the door. Well, they'll check to make sure all the bolts are tight, everything's been done properly. Once all the QCing's been done, it'll get put on a pallet and sent back to the customer for another 10 years of use. Electron Machine recommends replacing these valves or rebuilding these valves every 10 years just to ensure that the sealing surface stays in a good working order. We went from the valve on the right to the valve on the left.